So today guys we're going to be talking a lot about the Deepcool Castle 240 RGB version 2 CPU cooler. Now we're going to be talking a lot about the anti-leak technology which is patented by Deepcool. I think it's one of the only ones in the entire range of CPU cores on the market which has this anti-leak technology and what it essentially will do is give you a bit more peace of mind when it comes to introducing liquid into your computer in the form of a CPU cooler. So we're going to be talking a lot about these features because I do really think that is something that is worth sharing with you guys and if you guys have any questions about this particular product make sure to leave them in the comment section down below and let's begin Alrighty guys, so before we talk about the anti-leak technology from this CPU cooler, I'll quickly just recap some of the other features of this particular product. So this is a 240mm radiator, it comes with two RGB fans, and also the pump is also RGB as well. So if you're into RGB and that's something that you're interested in, then this is going to be a possible contender for you. The type of um, software that you can use to control the RGB is a SUSE or a SYNC, you can use a Gigabyte motherboard if you want to, or an ASRock motherboard, or even an MSI motherboard. Um, but if you don't have any of those, you can actually still change the colors via a control, which actually comes on the uh, cable. So you can go ahead and cycle through different colors and different color patterns um, manually, just with having that control there if you want to. So it's a pretty cool cooler, mind the pun there. And then on the back, it's got all the specifications. And on the side, they talk about the anti-leak technology. So the reason why you should consider something like this particular CPU cooler from Deepcool compared to some of the competitors is for their anti-leak technology. Now this is my old 240mm radiator with pump and fans obviously attached from Cooler Master which is a perfectly fine CPU cooler but it doesn't have the anti-leak technology. So to kind of explain how that works before I unbox that one is essentially this CPU cooler here from Cooler Master when it's getting really really hot and the liquid is under a lot of pressure and it's trying to dissipate all that heat there is nowhere for that pressure to be released. There's no valve, there's no um, blow off area or anything like that. And so what generally happens with most all-in-one coolers is that gas, that built up pressure, finds a weak point within your cooler and essentially that liquid will leak. And then that liquid goes into your computer and it damages those components. And that's generally what happens after the cooler's been running for a while and it's gotten quite hot. And it's kind of the worst case scenario. You don't really want to have to worry about uh, your CPU cooler with all of its liquid possibly leaking through your computer and killing and damaging everything. So if you are running something like a high-end PC and it is getting hot and it's running for hours and hours and hours, then maybe you should consider something like what Deepcool is offering. So if I put this down, I get back to this box for a second and you'll see it better once I get it out, is you have actually have this kind of extra sort of section at the end of the radiator here. And basically what you've got is you've got a pressure release valve which automatically works on its own. You don't actually have to do anything. You don't have to set it up. You don't have to configure it. You don't have to be an engineer. What happens is when that pressure builds up within the cooler or within the radiator with all that liquid, the actual hot air and the hot gases release through like an air valve. So that way there's no real risk of any of that liquid basically leaving your system. It's all gonna be contained within the radiator and the only pressure and gases that are going to be released are gonna be released in the form of air through that air valve. Now just lastly, before I get this cooler out of the box and get it installed and set it up, I wanted to talk about the performance. Now I've already been advised that the performance difference that I'm gonna get going from my Cooler Master one to the deep, deep cool one is not going to be significant. It's not gonna be astronomical in terms of how much lower the temperature is going to be. I've already been told that they're gonna be sort of on par um, with each other, that they are very similar performing coolers in terms of the thermal performance. The main feature we want to think about and talk about today is the anti-leak technology which i think deserves more attention than what it's probably getting so let's get it out of the box get it installed and at the end of this video as well i'll share with you some benchmarks on the screen in some graph form so you can see that of the before and after going from the cooler master one to the deep cool one so without any further ado let's cut this thing open 
Um, now this particular cooler, this is part of Deep Cool's Gamer Storm range. So like ASUS has the ROG product range for their gaming products. This is Deep Cool's equivalent. This is their Gamer Storm range. So if you go onto their website, they sell a lot more in the Gamer Storm range, not just CPU coolers, but cases and fans and other accessories. Um, packaging, pretty straightforward. You've got illustration on the front, some information on the side, and then the dimensions and specifications on the back. So we'll open this up the best way possible, hopefully. Um, doing it on camera is always different to doing it when you're just like relaxed and you've got no one watching you. Because you're all watching me, I feel like I'm gonna drop everything. But first of all, we've got in here, I should probably tilt this box so you guys can see as best as possible. Can you guys see that? So what we've got here is the pump, we've got the radiator, we've got the fans, and I'm assuming we've got some cables and some accessories here as well. So if we pull out this box here first, this is one of the fans. I believe it comes with actually two fans. Is it two fans in one box? I don't know. We've also got all the mounting hardware. So if you're an Intel user or an AMD user, this is gonna work perfectly for you. There's no um, discrimination between if you're an AMD person or an Intel person. We've got here all of the cables and connectors for the RGB elements. Um, it looks like they've included a bit of a bridge here as well. So if you've got multiple RGB components, you can actually hook it up to like a hub. So like you would have a USB hub, you've got an RGB hub as well. Um, as most of us do have more than one um, RGB component. We've got obviously a manual here. So if you want to refer to the manual, if you get lost on how to install it, they include that as well. So we'll put that to the side. And then actually what we've got here is I think is the fan. So we'll just pull those out. Pretty straightforward RGB fan. Check the packaging to the side. We've got some little fan grooves. So hopefully that's going to help with reducing the noise. The fans are clear, which is hopefully going to reflect the light a lot better than having, um, I guess, black fans or you know red fans or whatever it might be. And you've got here as well some anti-vibration pads. So when you're screwing them into your case, they're not going to vibrate or make any weird noises. And then you've obviously got two of those. The connectors should just be PWM connectors. Yeah, so we've got a four pin PWM connector there. And then we've got the RGB connector as well. So that will go, if I get the controller, You've got your controller here, so you have an end going into your motherboard, and then you basically got the fan simply plugging in to each one of the ports on the hub. So you'd have one fan going in, a second fan going in, your CPU pump going in, and then you might have some other accessories as well that you can plug into. So pretty cool that they include that and they've thought about it. Put that to the side now, and we'll talk about the actual pump and the cooler. Can you see that? I'm hoping you can. The actual pump is pretty cool. It's quite a big pump um, and the RGB element, I guess, of it is going to look pretty sick, I think, anyway. The bottom of the CPU pump, you've got here some pre-installed thermal paste, so if you haven't got thermal paste already, don't worry about it. It comes pre-installed, but you do have to take off this plastic cover before you put it on your system, because otherwise it's not going to cool down anything. You've got in here, again, another PWM connector. Actually, this is a three pin connector, so just for the pump to connect to your motherboard. And then you've got another RGB connector to go to that little hub that I mentioned earlier. And then on the other side, it's actually like a full on mirror. So what's going to happen is once we have this plugged in and turned on, you're going to have the, um, I think it's the GamerStorm logo and then RGB around the outside. And you can obviously change that through software. And then, What's it called? The Pierre Resistance, something like that? Yes, You've got the actual radiator. So, I might actually get the other one up as well to show you the difference here. So you've got your standard radiator, it doesn't look anything special. Put a fan here, put a fan there, so one on each side or two on the other side, doesn't really matter. You've got, you know, the little fill port, which is what the manufacturer uses just here. But this is where it gets interesting. So, you've got this is the, I guess, exhaust for where a lot of that gas and that air pressure gets released. So you don't actually have to do anything or touch anything here. It all happens through science, I guess. So if we compare it to 
the CPU cooler from Cooler Master. Um, which way would I do this best? So you've got the exhaust here where I'm pointing with my index finger. And then on the same cooler from Cooler Master, there's no exhaust. So anytime there's, I guess, built up pressure or hot air or gases or anything like that, and it needs to be released, it's got nowhere to go. So it's just gonna find the weakest point in the loop, I guess in manufacturing, if there is an issue, and it's gonna get released and that liquid's gonna go all over your computer versus the deep cool one, it's gonna get released all through this little valve here. So you can feel a little bit better about the um, cooler not leaking. That's the whole point of anti-leak. And the actual hoses feel quite nice too. They're kind of like a braided hose, like if you want to fill that. I've got the It's Nice approval. Um, not too heavy, not too, I wouldn't say rigid. They're nice and flexible. They move around quite easily. The actual length of the um, tubes, let me just get this done on camera. The actual length of the tubes, I would say that the Cooler Master ones are maybe a little bit longer and a little bit more rigid. Um, they're kind of, I don't know, pre... I don't know, how would you call it? Like, they've got a certain bend to them that you can't really get out. But as far as the thickness of the hoses and everything else, pretty similar, but this pump is a lot bigger, definitely. And hopefully what that means is, I believe if I look at the diagram, is that there's actually different chambers here. So you've got one chamber for pumping the liquid through, and then another chamber for the motor, and then you've got another chamber for actually the hot water to get sort of pumped. So they're all separated, hence why it's it's so big. So that's the CPU cooler from Deepcool. Let's get it put into the case, let's set it up, and I'll share with you the results shortly. If you like this video, chuck it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And um, shout out to Deepcool for sending this one over for me to check out. So thanks a lot guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.